And I get it. I get it, right? You're basically like a reply girl, like Ricky Berwick and Leanne Lush and fucking CYR. All these losers. <sighs> what? So Keepstar originally made this tweet in response to some kid who was uh, spamming him Twitter videos and his replies. And I, I, there is two sides to this coin. Now, I, I get a little bit where Keemstar's coming from with people spamming your tweets with their own Twitter videos. Uh, but I think there's a lot of gray area between people that make Twitter videos and do it effectively uh, and well versus people who just make shit spam in a desperate attempt for attention. There's a massive disconnect between those two things that I don't think Keemstar really understands. Uh, so I wanted to get into that just a little bit today in this video. And I get it, I get it, right? You're basically like a reply girl, like Ricky Berwick and Leanne Lush and fucking CYR, all these losers. Losers, right? That have adopted this tactic of replying to everybody's goddamn tweets with Twitter videos, all right, just so you can get attention, just so you, because when someone clicks on our tweets, they see your fucking video. They see your video, right? You know, I've tried to give Keemstar the benefit of the doubt, but he just continues to, uh, he just continues to have this sort of disdain for myself, uh, and in, apparently for Seer, uh, Ricky, obviously we know about the banter between them, and, and later on in this tweet you'll see, uh, my friend Bunty King as well, who he refers to as, uh, the Indian dude with the beard that's trying to be like me, he's blocked. And this Indian dude that wants to be me, which is <laughs> hilarious in itself, because Bunty King, uh, would never want to be Keemstar. He'd be taking about 15 steps in the wrong direction trying to be Keem, and that's just, it's hilarious that he thinks that. That's his ego talking, which I think is most of the time the only thing that actually talks. Ricky Berwick should be blocked, but I give him a pass because he's a retard. Um, anybody that does this shit, you're getting blocked. You are the 2017 reply girl, and quite frankly, I'm fed up with it. When I talk to other YouTubers, they're all fed up with it, and quite and the viewers are fed up with it. Like we all give Ricky a pass because he's a retard, but anybody else, you get him blocked. So he's talking about people that reply to his tweets uh, with spam, right? I don't know why he decided to lump. Seer and Bunty King and myself into this tweet. He talks a lot about Ricky, which we all know his history with Ricky. And let's be honest, Ricky's my boy, but he does have a, a an unusual tactic when it comes to his Twitter strategy and, and does reply to a lot of tweets with videos. Again, I understand where you're coming from with people that spam with Twitter videos constantly on your tweets. That probably sucks, right? But don't fucking lump myself and Seer and Bunty into this fucking bullshit Twitter video that you made with no, like, what are you, what are you talking about? None of us fucking reply to your tweets with Twitter videos almost ever. All we do is banter amongst ourselves, man. And you don't have to be a part of that if you don't want. So this whole idea that we're all just spamming people's replies is insane. The point I'm trying to make here, Nigel, uh, in Keemstar, is why you get, why are you subtweeting about me, dude? I'm over here minding my own business, doing my thing with some of my friends on Twitter, and you got to and you're, you're subtweeting about me, calling me a fucking loser, along with some of the people that I enjoy immensely, and that, in my personal opinion, uh, have more fucking talent in their pinky nail than you do in your entire fat, short, gnome-looking body. Now, that being said, I, I have no intention. I don't want to fucking start drama with you. I want to get into it with you, right? And I, it, Because the, the first thing you'll do, the first thing you'll say is, oh, everyone wants to pick a fight with me because it gives them exposure. And everyone wants to be on the baited podcast because I'm so fucking entertaining. I'm the best entertainer in the world because I know how to fucking yell over people and start shit and agitate people. Losers. Just for the record, I barely ever even tweet at Keemstar or in reply to any of his tweets. Uh, and I did a quick scroll through my media tab over the past uh, 45 days or so, about a month and a half. And there was really only about three or four instances where I was using video replies. And in every single case, it was with other YouTubers that I'm friends with and we were in our own thread. 
I didn't reply to some random big YouTuber tweeting with a video. Uh, most of my tweets are text-based. And the fact that he ha has the prerogative or the agenda to fucking utter my name out of his lips in a tweet like this begs the question, what the fuck are you really on about, Keemstar? What's the real issue here? Because I don't think it's me uh, spamming people's tweets because the evidence just suggests that's not true. Sure, I utilize Twitter video because it's fun to fucking banter with other people on the platform that I'm friends with, but bantering with other creators such as Seer and uh, Bunty King and a few others is a, another form of entertainment for the people that follow us. Uh, and if we're doing that in our own threads, well, I don't see the big fucking problem of it. Now, again, I understand what you're saying with people that are spamming reply videos. Now, that's, I see that. People do do that. If you're just latching on to every single person that tweets and replying with something that is A, not relevant to the tweet itself, or just B, fucking annoying, that's a little bit of a problem. I would like to think... And I'm just, maybe this is me being an egotist. I, I, I don't fucking know. I just learned that word from uh, Colossal in a recent video. I'm, again, this is going to make me sound like an egotist. There's no way you can win. <laughs> I would like to think I'm not necessarily in that category. Neither is Sierra, neither is Bunty. Sierra is fucking talented. Have you seen most of his videos? They're funny and they're entertaining as fuck. Bunty, also very eloquent, well-spoken, entertaining, fucking hilarious, positive attitude. All things that you could probably try and exemplify a little bit better, but instead you decide to stand on this pedestal, just throwing down what you think are knowledge bombs on people, telling them what is funny and what is good, what is bad, what is not. It's it's insane. For example, I assigned Bunty's laugh uh, to the C key on my keyboard. Take a listen. <laughs> you hear that? That Bunty's laugh, not only is it contagious, but his... <laughs> That's good. It's good. His laugh has more humor in it than every fucking cell in your body. It's just, it's insane. I mean, if you take away the angry fucking asshole, Keemstar, the animosity, the guy who talks over everyone, uh, who never thinks that he's wrong, if you take all that away, you have zero uh, appeal, really. There's no, the only entertaining thing about you is that you're willing to do and say whatever it takes to try and stay on your pedestal. And I don't, I don't mean this in a bad way, Keemstar. It's just how you are. It's how you've built your brand, and that's perfectly fine. You can't really stray from that at this point. You are literally the fucking community rat, the community dickhead. Like that's that's your fucking brand, and you play it to a T. So for that, I got to give you credit, man. You fucking nail it. And I, per I don't personally have anything against you. I just, I have to fucking respond when you're subtweeting about me because I don't think I'm playing the game all that wrong, yet I'm getting all this blind hate from you. And I don't even care if you see this video. I just, I have to at least explain myself because you do have quite a bit of influence in the community. Uh, and just people will blindly follow your suggestion without actually knowing the truth. So I decided to speak a little bit on that, on that fact. So I, I just, what I want to do, I want to, I want to extend an olive branch, Keem. I want to put this thing to bed because I I don't mind you doing your thing as long as you can just allow me to do mine without talking shit about me uh, behind my back. So if you allow me, if you allow me, I would love to fly out to Buffalo, okay? And then we could maybe slam a quick pint, head back to your crib, play a little Call of Duty or some Rust for a little while while we fucking tease each other's nipples, and then we'll we'll smash beards together and fall asleep in each other's arms. Next morning, guaranteed animosity is gone. Probably lifelong mates, if I had to guess. So, I mean, the ball's in your court. If you want to take me up on that offer, you let me know. Uh, I'm willing to squash it. <laughs> Whatever it is, I, I don't fucking even know what's happening anymore at this point. All that being said, to those of you who normally watch my videos or my Twitter, I fucking appreciate the fuck out of you. It's insane uh, how fucking awesome you guys have been in the past several months. And I appreciate you. Uh, and this isn't, I'm not, I'm not trying to start a war between me and Keemstar. No feud, it's whatever. He does him, I want to do me. I just don't want him talking shit about me for no fucking reason. Uh, that's it, man. I just, so I got a little whiskeyed up. Now I'm going to fuck off and go to bed and probably edit this thing in the morning. Uh, hope y'all are doing just great.
I'll, uh, I'll see you. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Listen, to those of you who made it this far, uh, which is probably a slim number because attention spans are waning by the day, I just want to let you know that if you're a fan of Keemstar, this video is not a slight towards you. I understand why Keemstar is fans and why people watch him. This is just a little squabble, a little disagreement between men. No big deal. So I just wanted to put that out there. And if uh, all that being said, Keemstar, if you made it this far, which there's almost a 0% chance you did, I just wanted to say I love you, buddy.